We've all likely experienced delays with the post office at one time or another, but probably not like this. A building woman says that she got a postcard yesterday that was postmarked 100 years ago. That, that's, that's a little too slow. <laughs> when Brittany Keach walked out to her mailbox on Tuesday, she had no idea what she was about to find. And it was sitting right on the top of all the mail. An old Halloween postcard possibly lost in the mail. Start looking at it and I'm like, okay, well, it's been through some wear and tear. You can see just how old it is. There's a George Washington one cent stamp in the corner and a postmark of October 29th, 1920 from Jamestown. It shows a witch with a cat and a goose and an owl. And it says Halloween greetings, which would you rather be a goose or a pumpkin head? The writing is old and in cursive, addressed to a Roy McQueen on Division Street. The note starts with, Dear Cousins. Hope this will find you all well. We are, it, we are quite well, but mother has awful lame knees. It is awful cold here. I just finished my history lesson and I'm going to bed pretty soon. My father is shaving and mother is telling me your address. I will have to close for a night. Hope Grandma and Grandpa are well. Don't forget to write us. Roy, get his pants fixed. Yeah, and then it looks like it says a flossy Burgess. Brittany posted the letter on the Positively Belding page on Facebook, and it already has more than 100 comments and dozens of shares. She's trying to find a relative who may want to keep it. So, I mean, this might be something that their parents can say, yeah, I remember when your great-great-grandma would tell me stories. And Brittany says if she cannot find the family, she's going to try and get in touch with the Belding Museum, maybe get it put in there. Now, we did reach out to the post office for comment, and a spokesperson told me that in most cases, these incidents do not involve mail that had been lost in their network and then later found. What they typically find is that old letters and postcards, sometimes purchased at flea markets, antique shops, and even online, are re-entered into the system. But still very interesting for the family. She went out there and said it was on the top of the That's pile. That's so cool mystery, yeah. but we hope we find uh, somebody that's connected to that card yeah. still.